want to talk to you today about how to measure the accuracy of frequency on a vibration platform. Uh, very important point, speeds or levels if you were in your car and your car said 0 to 100 speeds, it's not defined. Is it miles? Is it kilometers per hour? In the world of vibration machines, uh, this one here is a very standard, you know, two to three hundred dollar uh, butterfly, and there is a butterfly, but this is a, a very common um, consumer machine. It's got a frequency or a speed range, pardon me, of 20 hertz. So just to show you and demonstrate, I've got the machine running at speed one. There's nine minutes left on the timer. And attached to it, I have a, a little piece of wood, a little wood sham with a piece of tin foil. Reflective tape is best. I did not have that in my resources today. And what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to, with my other phone, I'm, I'm going to keep this video going. So we are now taping the speed. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here to a little toy called a digital tachometer. My mechanics will be familiar with this. And what this device is going to do, it's going to shoot a little laser towards the machine. And we're just going to cut that laser beam. And this, this device will give us the ability to count the number of times per second uh, with a couple of modifications. So I do need to line this up. So there's a little bit of perhaps laying right there. Okay, so 350. Four fifty. Yeah, I'm getting three readings in that three fifty range now. So what I'm gonna do, and and when this is moving, I don't have a body standing on it. Um, you know that that may or may not affect the test, but this device calculates in the cycles per minute to to so to figure out the frequency of this platform. You can go to a calculator. We're going to take that number of 350, 350, and we're going to divide it by 60. Whoops, 350. We're going to divide it by 60 to take it from cycles per minute to cycles per second. So on speed one, this platform, oh, I just did that twice, guys, so sorry. Divided by 60. So the, the frequency of this platform is just under six. So speed one is six hertz. And in and, and the world of the, the vibration machine, understanding the actual frequency, which, which directly correlates with the benefits you're hoping to accomplish, it's kind of important math. So, and, and very misleading from a marketing perspective. So let's try this again. Let's bring it up now to speed five. So we are now at speed five, we've got seven minutes left on the timer. I'm gonna come back here again to a highly technical testing facility. Okay, so first I'm gonna make sure that that laser is sort of somewhat lined up. Gotta be careful with this device that the laser is only being cut once. If uh, it's cut twice, um, you're gonna end up getting a double count on your cycle here. Okay. So looking at this, I'm getting kind of 503, 506. Okay, let's give it the benefit of the doubt and see. Okay, they're going to go for 504 this time. So, 504. Again, divide that by 6. 8.4 is the frequency. 8.4 hertz. And this says speed 5. So again, you know, if you were looking into the science or, or an actual protocol that a doctor or a physical therapist may give you, and it said, you know, we want you to do a squat at 12 hertz, there's a reason. But 12 hertz does not necessarily mean speed 12. So and when you're comparing these machines online, if, if you're basing your decision on, you know, this machine's got 150 speeds or levels, it doesn't necessarily mean it's 150 hertz. In fact, uh, that's not possible with most of these. So we're gonna do this one more time. I've got this going at a speed of nine. So speed nine, we're gonna come back to our digital tack. We're gonna line up again our laser. Okay, so 
my six. Ooh. You may notice um, your, your frequencies. There's nobody standing on this. There's a lot of plastic in this machine. Uh, as you get the machine going faster, there's, you know, resonance, vibration, and all kinds of things happening. So three times around, I'm getting in the 626 range. So we're going to go to our calculator again, 626. We're going to divide that by 60. We're looking at a frequency of 10.43. Nine. So that one's probably, you know, halfway up. That that's probably close to accurate. We're gonna do this again. Let's bring it up to speed 15. Without somebody standing on this, if I bring it all the way up, it kind of starts moving around. So speed 15. We're again going to line up our beam. give it the benefit of the doubt. Let's go 807. So last calculation. 807 divided by 60 equals 13.45 on speed 15. So you'll notice, you know, when we began this process, you know, at speed one, the frequency was, was actually quite a bit higher than what the speed was representing. Now as we're getting into the higher numbers, the, the numbers are getting higher, but the frequency isn't increasing substantially. So I'm going to bring this up. I don't know if I'll be able to test this. This machine claims 20 speeds. Okay. Anything above 18 on this style of platform starts representing training and neurological frequencies. Okay. We're getting a read 955. all over the place. Yeah, it might be going a little too fast to get a stable read on this. 955 I've gotten a few times now. Yeah, I think it's shaking a little too much for me to... Oh, 953. 956. You know what? I'm going to go with that. I'm going to try 956, see where we're at at this top speed. divided by 60, 15.93. So here, here's a really good example in the market what you really got to pay attention to, and that does not have a body on it. I guarantee if I, I, I stood on this thing, we're going to lose a click or two. But this, this is showing we have 20 as the level or the speed. The actual frequency of this platform is uh, 15, almost 16 hertz, which uh, again, when you're prescribing this in protocols and, and certain things like that, uh, understanding what the, the, the platform is actually capable of, uh, speeds or levels are not always an accurate representation.